All right, let's get started with Keith Pompey. Hey, Doc, can you, can you just talk about those two runs that your team went on? I mean, one was in the second quarter, um, and then the second one was, I think they started the, the second half with a 6-0 run. You called the timeout, and then you guys went on another run. Yeah, it was just, you know, first of all, we had to get stops, Keith. I thought um, we did that, and then I loved how we spaced the floor. That's why I was so upset the other night. I thought we had no spacing. Uh, and tonight we spaced the floor, we got to the paint, and we made passes to each other. Uh, in the third quarter, when I called a timeout, I asked him, why, why are we changing what we're doing? You know, the first three or four possessions, we paint was crowded again, and then we got it back out. You can see Joel running down the floor like, space, keep it wide. Um, and I just thought we passed the ball to each other a lot as well. Okay. Now, Tobias, will we see him in the uh, in the final game before the break? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, I mean, he, he really tried to play tonight, but, it, um, you know, we, we more made the call than him tonight. Um, so we need him. Uh, hopefully we can get him back next game. Thank you. Great, Lauren Rosen. Hey, Doc, how great was it to see Furkan and Shake both have such productive nights off the bench on the same night? Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's it's what we need. Um, you know, we're still working with that group, trying to figure out what what we can run that fits us the best. Um, we ran some good stuff. I think our guys saw it. They kept running it. Uh, they kept finding each other. So it's nice. When those two play well off our bench, we're pretty tough. Kevin McCormick, Keith Pompey. Hey, Keith, how so you just mentioned a little bit ago about the spacing with three point shooting being a, you know kind of a key factor in tonight's win. How much more dynamic do you think your offense looks when the shots are falling from inside? Yeah, I mean it's amazing because we still got the anchor in Joel. So you know we're, we're going downhill, we're making plays, we're making shots, but when we have a lull of two or three times down the floor, we go to the post, uh, and that still may lead to a three. Uh, but it's going to lead to something good. And, and knowing that gives us comfort. Thank you. Mark Narducci. Doc, just wanted to ask you, uh, ending the first half, first place in the East against first place in, in the West, just, just your thoughts on ending it up with Utah before you go on a break. Yeah, I mean, hopefully it's a precursor to the end of the year. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, if we continue to play and they continue to play, uh, I think we would all be thrilled to death if we played a third time. You know, that would mean we're all in the right place. So um, we had a heck of a game there. Um, you know, we need to try to return the favor. Thank you. Hi, Carlin. Hey, Coach, there were two things I wanted to ask. One was uh, Joel um, with five assists. It doesn't really seem like he was able to really read the double teams a little bit more, a little bit better than maybe yeah. he did against Cleveland. What did you see out of him tonight? Yeah, we just, you know, the floor was space. Uh, we, we, we have to make it easier for him to have the answers, you know, instead of having it complicated like I thought we complicated it ourselves against Cleveland. I thought he was patient, and he just made the right reads. Um, so that was really good. And then the other one I wanted to ask you was uh, Shake really got, um, he was doing a lot of traps like in the fourth quarter. And I know you're trying, you said you're trying to make him more of a point guard. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Do you think that's going to be good for him moving forward? Yeah, I love it. I love it. You know, we, we're trying to teach him just advance the ball. Get it out of your hands. Um, these guys want to beat traps so bad. No need. You already got two guys at half court guarding you. Get rid of the ball and then we attack. And I thought we did that. Uh, it took us a couple of times, but once we saw it, I thought our guys responded pretty well. Thanks, Coach. Paul Fudger. Hey, Doc. Uh, a while back, Mike Scott had mentioned to us that you had told him back in your L.A. days that when your shot's not falling, you have to find something else to do. Um, I guess how, much, how far has he come along as a player in that regard, and just how good was he tonight for you? Yeah, he's been great. You know, uh, we ran out of minutes for him. Now he has no more regulator starting today which was nice um yeah you can see the difference you know mike in the clipper days if his shot wasn't falling he kind of just stopped doing anything and now tonight rebounding loose balls running the floor uh i mean people are going to take away what you do best every once in a while you have to do something else to help the team uh and mike does that every night thanks tom moore 
Yeah, Doc, uh, I know Milton, uh, you know, I know your two main guys off the bench, you know, really helped you. But, you know, I think after three quarters, it was 42-17 bench scoring with, with Mike Scott starting in place of Tobias. Yeah. Just when your bench is so productive, not just those two guys, you know, you, you can play them more. You don't have to mix and match as much and so on. Just wonder what you thought about that. It's nice. I mean, it's great, you know, when we can put our bench together. You know, we just have guys missing, it seems like. Somebody's missing every night right now. Uh, but when we get it back and get everybody together, it will really be good for us. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.